welcome to another purveyor of light photography tip. Uh, today we're going to discuss the topic that most people cringe at or just don't plain understand, and that is metadata. Uh, metadata is one of those things that either people learn to appreciate or they eventually learn to appreciate. Uh, because the one thing about our libraries as photographers, it doesn't matter if you're a professional photographer or an amateur photographer. Over time, we take a lot of photos, okay? We take photos with our cameras, our iPhones, and so forth. And over time, we can amass a lot of photos. In my case here, I've got uh, over a half a million photos in my library. And over the time, I have turned around and... and said, gee, how do, I, how do I organize these things? And I could never find a way that worked. I tried to organize by year. I tried to organize, make folders by the date that the photos were shot. I tried to organize it by events. I tried to, you know, organize it by location. You know what I found out is over time, none of these systems work. I still can't find photos. Uh, an example is, let's say I label a, a thing Hawaii, and I go, but I've been to Hawaii 10 times, and 10 different years, and in those 10 different years, it was six different months. You get the idea. Trying to find a particular photo that you want becomes cumbersome when your library grows to a certain size. So, today I'm going to show you how to hopefully make your life a little more comfortable, a little more interesting, a little more easier to do. Um, my uh, tool of choice for this is uh, Photo Mechanic. <coughs> uh, I started with Photo Mechanic back when I used to do event and sports photography and so forth. Uh, I just find it the, it's the best tool, especially when dealing with metadata. So I'm going to show you here uh, you, again, metadata can be done in Lightroom or anything. I just prefer Photo Mechanic for doing this. Uh, all right, so I'm going to take it so that uh, those people that have never had any introduction to metadata, I'm going to take a little bit of a beginner into it. And so everybody bear with me if you already know some of this stuff. Uh, I can hit the big I to, on the photo, and I can bring up the photo. And here I have all the fields in a metadata IPTC, okay, and it's quite long, okay, you can't believe how much information you could actually store inside your photo that can be read and retrieved at will. You've got your captions, your writers, your headlines, keywords, okay, and keywords are words that describe the photo, okay, so that it helps you finding your photo in the future. Okay, um, it also carries in your copyright information and uh, the event and the locations and uh, everything is self-contained in this and you can put this information into any one of your photos. So I'm just going to skim over the things because the truth of the matter is most people, unless you are a stock photographer or a professional photographer, you're only going to use certain fields for metadata and that's the beauty of this you can only use the fields that are applicable to you okay so a description this describes the photo okay okay so this is a f-16 airplane um, flying over Nellis Air Force Base Okay, I can put the headline, uh, you know, however I want to word it. I could just call this one F-16 flyover. Uh, now we go into the keywords. And now I could just simply put in keywords that apply to the photo. Okay, so I could put down this as an airplane. I could put down that it's an F-16. I 
I could turn around and say it's a jet. And with any of these uh, keywords, uh, now I'm going to be able to retrieve that that photo based on that metadata that I input in. Now, what I just did here is very cumbersome. Okay. Um, this is the hard way of doing metadata. All right. Uh, but if you wanted to go through each photo and, and manually type in like this, you can do so. Okay. But one of the things I like about uh, Photo Mechanic is I can automate or batch edit things and move a lot quicker. So I'm going to just load up here one of my own copyright symbols. And you'll notice that all the fields that I use got filled in my copyright, my notice, my usage rights. Uh, right in the description, it puts in who took the thing. And now I could turn around and go, you know, F16 Nellis. And I can put my headline in. Fly over. Etc. Etc. And the keywords, I can do the same thing that I did before. Type it on the manual keyboard. Or I can turn around and bring in what is called structured keywords. And structured keywords let me choose and select from lists of pre-built uh, keywording, okay? So let me go ahead and give you an example. I'm going to pick where I have multiple photos of the same topic. Uh, okay, here's a good one. We have a couple things here of, of Air Force One. Um, so I bring it up here, and again, it's all empty. I'm going to load my stationery to get me started. And this is my basic default where I start off with any photo. And then I can use keywords, structured keywords, and I can go in and go, okay. I can go into aircraft, Air Force One, and this is a 747-200. Click that. And you'll notice that when I clicked on it, everything is coming in on it so if I double click that gets put into the photo aircraft air cross one a Boeing 747 all these because there's a structured keywords they all get entered into the photo one click so now I could search for this photo by using the word aircraft for Air Force One for all the way down to the aircraft model 747 etc etc makes it really nice and easy okay so with one click I hit OK and that's been applied to that image again that saved me an awful lot of information It's put my copyright what year it was taken all this was done automatically by photo mechanic all right so let's show you here I could turn around now with this data I could just hit uh, copy and now I could select the other photos that are Air Force One. There's another one that's Air Force One. And I can just right click and hit paste the metadata in. And now all that metadata has been synced. Okay, so if I click on a picture, you could see that all that information that I had put in was done so I can do several pictures in a batch uh, all in process. Um, and another great thing about photo, uh, photo Mechanic is it's customizable. You could put in keywords 17 different ways. You can customize it to what you want to work, how you want to work. Uh, I personally love structured keywords. Uh, structured keywords for me is, is a wonderful thing. And again, you can build this structured keyword lists or as many as you want, customize exactly to what you need. All right. So let's say I, I, I want to expand 
on this structured keyboard. So let's say I want to put in uh, another topic. I'm going to go, well, you know what? I have pictures of family. So I'm going to put the category of family in. And then I'm going to go, I want to put another child item, which is, okay, well, what I want to do is, uh, hey, uh, how about uh, my daughter? Put her in. And another child item. How about I signify that she's my daughter? And I could continue on if I wanted to. You know, I could make it female, color the hair, whatever I want. So now I have this built. I built this keyword list and it'll be here forever now. So now when I hit family and Jessica and daughter, all that's going to happen. So let's go ahead and uh, see if we can find a, a photo like that. Um, and we'll go into the family. Uh, okay, we'll take this photo here. Look for the eye. And I will uh, put in my default. Okay, that easily. All the fields get filled. And now we're back to my keywords. Um, structured keywords. And I go, okay, family. Jessica daughter double click apply and now I have put in the keywords family Jessica and daughter boom that easy okay and now you get in the habit of doing this with your photos okay and it's going to make your life so much easier to uh, find your photos so Let's see here. Let me pick one here. Something looks obscure. Okay, that'll work. This one here is a B52, so I'm just going to fill it out. And I'm just going to, just for purposes here, I'm just going to say B52. And hit OK. Now, the beauty of this is, no matter where I am, no matter what folder I'm in here, it doesn't matter. All I have to do is say, hey, I'm looking for a photo of a B-52. I don't know where it is on my hard drive. I don't know what folder it's in. I don't know if it's on my external drive, my internal drive. I don't know. Help me find it. So I'll just type in B-52. And hit enter, and it will say, there it is. Oh, there's a photo of your B-52. And it does it that easily. So finding photos by keywords is that easy. Now, remember, okay, you can do these keywords in any tool you like. Lightroom supports keywords, uh, Photo Mechanic, Photoshop. They all support it. So you're not tied to, you know, changing your tool. I happen to prefer, uh, I happen to prefer Photo Mechanic for doing it. So hopefully you found it a little bit useful. Hopefully you'll start using it going forward. Uh, start working with your photos, putting in your metadata, and I think it's going to improve your life, especially finding things. I've gotten my library down to the, the metadata um, that I could find any photo I'm looking for and I have over half a million photos and I could find anything almost in under a minute uh, or less okay and it's really really useful uh, and powerful tool alright so until next week you guys take care